Hi, this video is going to be an extension to the previous video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can press right and left mouse buttons different times to perform different functions. If you're interested to know more, keep on watching. Welcome back. Now I'm just going to log on to my website in order to get the script from the last tutorial. Let's go to juho-li.com, go to archive, select auto hockey, drop down and double and triple stroke of the same key for hockey. Now I'm just going to copy that, close out of the browser and paste it into my script. What I'm going to do now is wipe out this part here and then I'm going to type out the the new script that would use mouse right button and left button left button to perform the key press monitor label. Um, I will initiate the hotkey by pressing the right button and then the left button subsequently and depending on how many times the left button is clicked it's going to perform this label and operate different command lines. I will quickly type out the script first and explain to you line by line. Okay, so what we've got here is if I press the right button and left button, the hotkey will be run. And what it's first going to do is it's going to check the key state of the R button and check whether it's P. P stands for pressed and because we are pressing the R button and L button together and as long as you don't lift up the R button again, this is going to be true and this while statement is continuously going to run. And then within the while statement, the first thing it's going to do is again, it's going to get the key state of L button and check if it's P. If it is true, what it's going to do is it's going to add a count to the key press count variable and then display the key press count variable value and sleep for 200 seconds. And then once the while statement has finished, it's going to move down to key wait function where it waits for the right button. Uh, to be lifted and then it's going to set timer for key press monitor to run every 300 milliseconds as it did before in the previous tutorial. So the script registers how many times you press the left mouse button uh, using this if get key state function. Now the sleep 200 milliseconds is here because otherwise every time you press the left button because while get key state r button is pressed down this statement is going to continuously run in the background so without this sleep 200 milliseconds every time you press the left mouse button it's going to register it's going to add a lot of count to the key press count that's why you, you have the sleep here so if i run this script now and then go ahead by pressing right button first and then the left button right I'm still holding down the right button so the while statement is still running and I saw because I pressed the left mouse button down once to initiate the hockey it uh, it already added a count to key press count variable now if I press one more time it will add another count to key press count and then another time and then if I lift the right button up which is what you can see in line 14 it's going to move on to the key press monitor label and show me a message box that says triple or more presses like that okay so if i press ok that will be over this script is still running in the background so if i go right click again and then press it once and then if i lift up my right mouse click button to give me a message box that says single press like that so this is so this is how you use the script now I'm just gonna quickly remove the comments out and remove message boxes to show you how in reality you can use this. 
So if I run this script, now if I do right click and left click, if I lift it up now, it's going to launch calculator for me. And if I do right click and left click twice, it's going to launch command prompt. And then if I do it three times, it's going to launch Chrome on my other monitor. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.